Me and Mum have sort of made up since we had our fight, but we haven't actually talked about it. I feel really guilty about telling her to get out. She helps me so much, and when I go back to college in a few months, she'll be doing even more, so I need to make sure we're okay. I'm a little nervous about having this conversation with her. It's been brushed underneath the carpet, but if we speak about it again today, we can kind of like um, just get some closure from it and just understand where each other was coming from. Good morning, Papa. Good morning. How's it going? Oh, not too bad. Is he now slipping through? Yeah, he's better now. Oh, good. Sorry, I just came to smooth things out. I know we like kind of just brushed underneath the carpet. I feel like we should kind of talk about what happened. I understand where you're coming from. It wasn't a place of judging me, but like to me, it's just how I felt. And I feel like maybe I could have approached it a bit better with you. Hello. I'm sorry for shouting at you and telling you to get out. My mum shouldn't have done that. Love you. Sorry. I understand now. At that point in time, I'm not going to lie. It hit me really hard. Yeah. But um, I understand where you're coming from. That, that wasn't my And intention. I never meant to make it come across that way. Yeah. And if it did, um, I take back and I'm sorry. That's the last thing I want you to feel. I've actually learned to trust you more than I used to because you're raising this little human and it's an amazing job. And I love you so much. I love you too. Don't get big headed, lad. You're like my best friend and my mum, so I guess I need you. <laughs> it's nice to hear you say that. I'm so glad me and my mum had that chat because she's going to be watching Khalil when I go back to college and I would have just felt awful if we hadn't cleared the air and I'm asking her, oh, do you mind watching Khalil? And for her to tell me that she trusts me as a mum and that I'm doing a good job means so much to me because her approval means a lot to me. You're annoying, but I love you. You're so annoying, but I could never ask for another daughter. A better daughter, yes. Everything. Can I put everything, Jim? I, I hate organising. The housewarming party is today, and I'm a bit stressed out about it still. You're looking forward to the party, right? Yeah, just once I get everything done. I've never really hosted my own party like this, so it's a little bit scary, to be honest. It's all my closest friends and family come in but I'm trying to recapture a bit of the old Aisha, so I'm putting my face on and I'm wearing a dress for the first time in ages. I really do like this one. I really do. You can still see well in the eyes. Yeah. Your tattoo and the rose. I like it, you look nice. It's nice, isn't it? Do you like Mammy's dress? Mm. Say she looks gorgeous. Now everyone's here, I'm feeling more relaxed. Ready? And it's really nice to show off our new house. And Arlo loves all the attention. How have been feeling now? Are you OK? I was a bit stressed, obviously, prepping for everything, but mm. I feel fine now you were here and everyone's here. And... Yeah. But I will say, even though it's been a few days since taking the antidepressants, I've been feeling numb. It's a good thing. It's a good thing, but... I know what I'm, you mean. I'm going to see how it goes because I don't want to feel numb. I want to feel human because if there's a time where I'm supposed to be crying and if I don't cry... <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I'd rather... Do you know what? I think I'd rather it a little bit because you've done so much of that lately. I know. I think... Is it when you've got any tears left? I know. <laughs> right? So, 
Do you feel you, you don't feel anything different about the emotion side of it? Yeah, yeah, I feel more upbeat. I feel I I love it. I'm glad that everything's starting to feel better. Your whole persona has sort of changed in the last few days. I would say mm. I know a difference when I I can see the little Aisha creeping back. I just want to say how proud I am of you. Okay, and keep doing what you're doing, and I'll be right behind you. I will support you every single step of the way. I love you. I love you. I, can finally see I feel now being on this medication, things are starting to really look up. And moving in this house as well, um, there's just a lot of positive things going on and I just can't be any more happier with that. I just hope that it continues with the both of us. I know I don't speak about that much, but I do really appreciate it when I know Arlo does as well. Thank you. I think you are the leader of our family and you have done a lot for us. I am really looking forward to the future and seeing what it holds for us both. Yeah. And I hope it's just positive from you. If we love each other, then obviously we'll work through it and we'll get through it as a team. And that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jamie and Aisha, since the moment you've met, both of you have come leaps and bounds. Now this, all of this, is the start of something new. So cheers to Aisha and Jamie, everyone. Yay. Cheers. It's been a really hard year for me and Jamie, but now I'm taking my depression seriously and we've got this new house. I'm starting to feel really positive about the future. Cheers! Cheers.